everyone and welcome back to another video so this one um i've got from the title you can obviously tell i've got this melody susie e-file that's arrived this one is thirty five thousand rpm so it's quite a powerful one um, and i will put a picture on the screen showing you the details of it it's absolutely gorgeous so i'm just going to get it out of the box so you can see so here's the back of the box and it's got a bit of information on it there so you can see what model it is what output it is what input it is and then the maximum power and there's the website address on there as well so melody susie they do a lot of different products but the e-files and the dust collectors are really good so they contacted me and asked me if i'd like to try um some products so i asked them if i could try an e-file and this is the one that they sent to me and to be honest if i'd have been given the choice i would have chose this one anyway because it is beautiful i can't believe it it's so it, it's just perfect for me it just really is so you get this gorgeous box it's a really nice box and it will be staying in this box So you get, this is your main unit and it's gorgeous, it's white and then it's got this like um, chrome pink on it and it's just, it's just gorgeous, I love that. So you've got your, it's the wrong way around, you've got your forward and reverse there and then you've got your plug for your, your wire goes in there and then you've got on off. And then your speed, so obviously it goes up to 35,000 RPM. And it is a portable one, it's got the clip on there, so you can attach that to your clothes if you want to. And then this is where you would put your handpiece holder. So let's just open the rest of it. So if you can see inside there, there are some different pieces in here. So we've got a couple of drill bits. So there's like a multicolored one there. And then there's a ceramic one. So this is going to be tungsten carbide, that one. And this is your ceramic one. And this has got quite a, a curved top to it. And that's a, it looks like it's a coarse grit, that one. And this one looks a bit like a medium. Yeah, it is. It says on the side there. Um, what's this one then? Oh, that one's not got a sticker on it. So this is the holder for your handpiece. Now, this is what I was really impressed with. Um, it's from America. So it's got the two pin, the two pin plug there, but it's also got a UK adapter, which is brilliant because obviously I'm in the UK. I need that. Oh, there's some more bits in here. Let's just have a look. I should check. I've got everything out. Okay. So this is your handpiece holder. So that will go just slot in there like that. You would like just press it down if you wanted it to stay in. And then you get this set as well. So you've got some diamond bits here. And those look like really good ones. So you've got like a, a cuticle bit there. These two are good for cuticle work. And then you've got a little ball bit. And then you've got this one as well. And you've got your mandrel and some sanding bands there. So that's a nice little set. And then this is the handpiece itself. Wow, that's got some weight to it. Oh, wow, look at that. This must be the most sort of streamlined handpiece that I've ever had. I love that. And the colour, oh, it's just me. It really is. I love it. So you've got your lock and your unlock. So you would just turn it. And the quality of this, I've, I've never had one that's this good quality before, I don't think. So that's really strong. So you've got your bit in there that you keep in all the time when you're not using it. And that just keeps it safe and keeps dust out of the inner workings of your e-file. So that's really important. And then obviously you're gonna be using your, your drill bits with this. So I am gonna do a demonstration. So um, there's no way I'm touching these because I love these nails, but these um, need to come off really. So I'm gonna I'm going to use this and the drill bits that have been provided and take these nails off. Um, I am going to use a dust collector while I'm doing it. So I'm not going to have the sound on. I will just do a little demo first of what it sounds like when it's on. But then I will turn the sound off while I'm actually removing the nails. So it's not on all the time. 
so yeah i'll get all set up and then i will be back to you in a minute okay so i've got it set up now with the hand piece plugged in you can see that it's fully charged i did need to leave it to charge for a while because it did say that you need it to be fully charged before you use it for the best um performance so i've still got the chuck in there i'll take that out in a minute so obviously you put your hand piece in there when you're not using it you can just clip it onto your clothes and then when you're just using it on your desk you can just put it in there that might go that way so obviously i showed you these bits that go with it so i'm just going to use this one just to show you the um sort of speed and the noise that it makes so i'm just going to unlock it take the chuck out but always put this back in when you've finished it just protects it so then you put your drill bit in your e-file bit in and then you just lock it again and then the on off is here so you just switch it on and then if i turn it round the front of it will say zero because that's what speed it's going at the moment. I'm just going to turn it up. Twelve. Twenty. So can you hear that? There is like no, hardly any vibration coming from the handpiece. And that's at twenty. 30. It's a bit noisier at 30, but I'm never going to use it at 30. I don't think anybody does. So I usually use it on between 15 um, and 18 usually. So yeah, there's hardly any noise there. And then obviously you've got your forward and your reverse. Um, so you would switch it off by turning it and then you would do the forward or reverse. Don't do the forward or reverse while it's running, while it's on, because that can damage it. So yeah, there's hardly any noise at all. So I am going to take these nails off now with, with these. Um, I'm going to use some different bits, but I'm going to just... I'm going to have the sound off because I'm going to be using my dust extractor, which is quite noisy. So, um, yeah, so I'll let you watch me doing that and then I'll let you know what I think of it at the end. But on looks and everything at the moment, I am super impressed. I love it. OK, so I've got it on at the moment. I forgot to mention this switch at the top, even though it's forward and reverse. If you just switch it to the middle, that's pause. So you can leave it on like that and then you can do, you can change it to forward or reverse. Or you can just, um, it'll just carry on if you switch it. So you don't need to keep switching it on and off all the time. Okay, so I'm just starting off really slowly at 17 RPM. That's what I usually have my e-file on, um, especially when I'm just, you know, wanting to take off gel polish or something like that. And that's what I'm doing first. I wasn't really sure whether I was going to take the nails off completely or whether I was just going to take them down a little bit and take the gel polish off. Um, so I did end up leaving um, quite a bit of the product on. Um, but you can see that it is taking the gel polish off no problem. It's just all coming off so easily and the weight of the handpiece really helps because it balances it out it's just um yeah there was no vibration at all um you do see my hand shaking a little bit and that is just because of the position of my hand because i was having it um up against that dust extractor um not at the angle i would normally have it at it's just because i'm filming and i've got to make sure that i'm in shot so that's why it does look like it's shaking a little bit but um, yeah, I do um, show you this in real time first and then I do speed it up a little bit because I didn't want the video to be too long, but I was so impressed with this e-file. It is brilliant and this bit is really good as well. It's actually got like curves along the top, so it is sort of classed as a safety bit. I didn't cut myself at all. I didn't catch any skin with it. And I find that if you use the mandrel bit with the sanding bands, um, 
you know, I have caught myself with them before because they are quite rough, but this bit was really smooth and I could get up to those cuticles really easily. So this would, would be really good for sort of finished filing as well. So I did think it was quite a coarse bit when I first saw it, but I don't think it is. It doesn't have a sticker on to say what it is, but I think it's probably um, a fine or a medium, but it had no trouble taking that gel polish off. So yeah, I was just going really slow and really gentle and it just everything just came off really smoothly. I was really impressed with it. So this would be a really good bit to use for your finished filing just to get around that cuticle area and make sure that it's all smooth. As I know, especially when you use gel, um, sometimes it's quite easy to put a bit too much in that cuticle area and it can be a bit bumpy so it needs um, leveling out a little bit. So I found it really easy to get up um, into the side walls as well of the nail and remove the polish from there and then when it came to actually removing the gel it also did that really smoothly and the gel that I had on under these nails was the non-stick extension gel from Born Pretty and that is quite a bit tougher than um, you know a, say like a, a softer gel like a, a builder in a bottle gel and it took it off no problem but I did leave um, a bit of product on there. I didn't completely get rid of it all. So I did file the nails down so that they were quite short. And this helps me to see how much gel is actually still left on the nail and needs removing. So I always make sure that I don't completely remove all the product. I do leave some on there and I find that that just protects my nails. Um, so that if I'm, you know, if I'm filing gel that I put over the top of it, that I don't go down too close to the nail bed. Okay, so I'm just changing the bit now. I'm using this cuticle bit and I'm going to go around the cuticles and get rid of any dead skin and that's part of my sort of prep routine for putting a new set on. So I'm only using this at 4 RPM because you do need to be very gentle around that cuticle area. And the e-file is on forwards and I'm starting sort of towards the middle of the cuticle and I'm going around to the right. And I'm doing that a few times, but I'm doing it very, very gently. It does look like I'm adding a bit of pressure when I speed it up, but I'm not. I'm doing it very, very gently and making sure that I'm not pressing down at all. I'm just, get, I'm just getting sort of underneath that cuticle and the bit helps you to lift it up and out of the way. And then I switch it to reverse. And then I do from the middle nail to the left. Making sure that it's still on number four. And again, that just lifts up the cuticle and it removes any dead cuticle. So yeah, you, it is important that you make sure that the e-file is turning the right way. And that's why you do need to reverse it when you sort of go in the other way, sort of towards the left, because then it will lift the cuticle up and remove the dead skin. If you go in the wrong way, it will actually press the cuticle down. Um, and doing it that way you could hurt your skin, you could cut yourself. So again, I'm doing that on all of the nails and you'll be able to see that the cuticle is lifted up when I've done that. And that just means that if you have got any skin that you need to remove, um, any dead skin, it will show up as white. And if that is, you know, needing to be removed, then you can do that with some cuticle nippers. And then I've used, I'm changing the bit again. And now that I've actually lifted the cuticle up, I'm doing exactly the same movements with this bit. And this is going to just make sure that there isn't any more skin around that cuticle. So there isn't any, any cuticle stuck to the nail. I do get mine growing back quite a lot. So I just do exactly the same as before. On the forward setting, I go from the middle of the nail all the way to the right. And then when I've done that on all of the nails, I change the setting to reverse and then I do from the middle of the nail to the left. And this just makes sure that any living skin that is right on the edge, it's not going to get hurt by that e-file and it's, it's not pressing it down. It's sort of moving it out of the way. So when I've done all that, I go in with my nail brush and I just brush any dust and dead skin off that was there. And then I spray with alcohol and I brush over again just to make sure that everything's gone. And then I do go in with a wipe and make sure that I wipe the remaining alcohol off and any more dust. And then this is how they look. So they are all fresh and ready for a new set. 
So yeah, overall, I was really impressed with this e-file. I would definitely recommend it. So that is everything for this video. The link to this e-file and everything that I used in the video will be in the description box as usual. Um, and yeah, so thank you to Melody Susie for sending this out to me to try. I really love it. And I will definitely be using it quite a lot in the future. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.